title, Dunes of Destiny, the Melange Mirage. Veratus, a desert planet that stretched towards infinity, was home to the nomadic tribes of Shaidin, Atreic, and Sirke. The sand dunes shifted under their feet, etching and erasing their trails, as if nature itself were reflecting their restless journey towards an elusive goal, the psychotropic substance known as Melange. The Shaidin, seeped in an ancient spiritual mystique, moved like specters across the landscape. Led by their charismatic seer, Aban, their lore wove tales of melange-induced visions that could pierce the veil of time. They navigated the sand dunes as if in conversation with the desert, their movements harmonizing with the rhythm of Veratus itself. In stark contrast, the Atriac, with their cold, technocratic demeanor, seemed to stride against the natural grain of the desert. Their leader, Stavros, a man of formidable intellect, advocated for a future where the powers of Melange could be harnessed through technology. His cybernetic enhancements, all fueled by Melange, were symbols of this relentless pursuit of scientific ascendancy. Lastly, the Serke, led by the cunning matriarch Isra, treaded a different path. They saw Melange as a means to an end, a tool for power and control. Isra's ruthless pragmatism, coupled with her knack for exploiting her adversary's weaknesses, made the Serke a wild, unpredictable force in the shifting political landscape. The relentless extraction of Melange seemed to draw the ire of Veratus itself. The once sporadic sandstorms grew increasingly violent and frequent. The desert seemed to lash out, retaliating against the tribe's insatiable greed, and the ecological balance of Veratus teetered precariously at the edge of ruin. As the desert fought back, political intrigues thickened like a sandstorm on the horizon. The Atreic, lured by the promise of territorial expansion, drew the Serke into an alliance against the Shiden. Meanwhile, the Seer, foreseeing the looming ecological catastrophe, sought Stavros's help in an attempt to placate the wrath of Veratus. A complex web of alliances, betrayals, and manipulations began to take shape, a testament to the intricate game of power and survival that the tribes were locked in. Then, a phenomenon of planetary proportions occurred. A vortex of enormous size and power, akin to a whirlpool in the desert, erupted from Veratus's sandy expanse. It seemed as if the planet itself had thrown open a yawning mouth, threatening to swallow the universe whole. The vortex, a direct consequence of the overharvesting of Melange, became a symbol of Veratus's wounded spirit, a manifestation of its suffering and despair. This was where Aban, Stavros, and Isra found themselves at the convergence of their diverging philosophies and desperate ambitions. It was a surreal moment, a paradoxical tableau of unity amid discord, of hope amid despair. In the shadow of the vortex, each leader was forced to reckon with the consequences of their pursuit, a harsh mirror reflecting the destructive dance of ambition and survival they had been engaged in. Suddenly a shift occurred, an inexplicable change in the desert's rhythms, a whisper of change carried by the winds. The vortex that once threatened to consume everything was starting to recede. The sandstorms began to quiet down, and the desert seemed to be in a state of subtle, silent transformation. As for the tribes, they continued to wander the sands of Veratus, leaving behind the relentless race for Melange. A change in their actions, a newfound restraint in their dance with the desert, had seemingly appeased the wrath of Veratus. The once menacing vortex became a tranquil swirl in the sand, a memory etched into the landscape, a monument to their journey and perhaps a beacon for their future. And as they moved forward, the echo of their transformation reverberated through the dunes, a silent testament to their story. Veratus continues to evolve, its mysteries wrapped in shifting sands, its stories whispered through the winds, and its future etched in the steps of the Shaden, Atreic, and Serke tribes. As for what the future holds for them, only the dunes of Veratus know.